hello and um, look what I've got here. What does that say? Shape waves and this is a package. I'm very excited about this package because uh, it's been a long time coming. I've got a whole load of prototypes in here. As you can see, it's night time here where uh, I'm filming, so the lighting is terrible because I, uh, my, my little 3D lab is uh, set up, as you can probably see from the, the wine bottles and the washing behind me, in my uh, utility room because I, I don't have uh, an office at home. So, I've been working all day here, uh, pulling together a very complicated and slightly painful document for um, a, a client that is not a 3D printing client, it's some of my other sort of social media and, and technology work, and so my brain hurts, this is my, my relaxation, okay, that's a minute gone, I'm trying to keep the video shorter, okay, so watch it, here's a, here's a guy with a package drinking that is the white heat of 3D printing technology. Damn. Okay, um, here next to me uh, I have Blender open so we can look at some of these models. But here we are, another video of a guy opening his mail um, and with alcohol and a knife. So really it's got all the the, the important uh, things you'd want in uh, a movie about a, a, a psychotic mailman. Um, like, the postman always rings twice. Of course, that has some other elements in it. Quite a lot of nookie, which I will not be delivering. So, what's in here? Ooh, what's this? Whole load of typographic cufflink prototypes. Um, very disappointed. I, I had trouble with the word serif. Um, because the, the file I'd been using had, had developed um, when I, I'd removed the doubles um, from the mesh that I was using for the stud, it, it, it somehow it went wrong and it was too thin for the tolerances. So let's see what we got here. Let's see what we've got here. Apart from serif, we've got a few different things, and I'm trying different metals too uh, as well. And blow me down if it hasn't worked. This, oh very nice, this is font, yes, font, and oh that's that's really nice, this is in stainless steel, uh, so this is in the stainless steel finish, as you can see it's got a kind of uh, burnished, sorry it's reversed out my video, sort of burnished quality about it, look at that, that is that's really good. That is looking really good. Pleased with font. Um, okay, what's this? Oh! Right, I'll save that one. I'll save that one to the end, actually. I'll come back to that. Um, okay, okay, sorry. Sorry, I got carried away there. Um, just to show you the, the kind of comparison. There's font in a different material. So we can have a look at the, the sort of difference in the execution. Because with 3D printing, you get a lot of difference in execution. Um, here, look, there's two fonts, so to speak, right in front of you. The white plastic font um, has got a really nice open quality to it. It looks nice and clean. Looks much sort of stronger in the metal. But they've both come out nicely, and you've got some nice shaping on the letters there, actually. That's, that's, that's looking really good. I'm really pleased with those. Okay, what else have we got? Ah! Okay, so this is the orphan of the bunch, because this is sans, as you can see, as in sans serif, and that is sans. This is my first outing, 3D printing with Helvetica, and um, you can see the, the line work there, it's working behind it, so I feel it's as solid as a rock, that. The plastic works really nicely here. And, yeah, that, that's Helvetica bold. Bold fonts really are the only weights you can work with to, to get it within the tolerances that, that are necessary um, for most 3D printers. But sans font... Now, I did serif, but like I said, I've got a bug in my serif model, which is kind of disappointing, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Now, what have I got here? Um, ooh, yeah, all right, okay, okay, so I'm going to see if I can work this one out. 
because um, I've got a pair here, a pair of fun fonts for fun purposes. So obviously your cufflinks go um, left and right, yeah, because um, you, your arms are left and right. I mean, hopefully they're left and right. If they're not, I didn't mean to offend you. I, I, I'm not making a judgment. Now, what's interesting here is uh, I decided I'd do left and right as words, but of course, typographically, that, that's quite creative. It gives you a really interesting opportunity to do something new. So um, what I, I've done is pick a jaunty sans serif font, as you can see, for left. It's not really showing up very well in the light here. There's left. Uh, that actually um, is, is looking quite good. If I put it against black, you can see that left is looking quite nice there. Now that's in Lola by Fontsmith, which um, is quite a lot of fun. Now obviously for right, um, so obviously you, you can see there we've got left and right. Right is, you know, I thought would, would, would work better actually as a serif font. So this is using Cecilia, to, uh, sorry, Cecilia LT Pro, which is the Kindle font, which is an awesome slab serif font. Um, and it prints really, really nicely. That's Cecilia um, there. So we've got left and right. And when you're going out, you've got your little left and right cufflinks. Ho, 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 look, left and right. What I was thinking would be really cool is you wear the left one on the right side and you wear the right one on the left side just to yeah, fuck people up a bit. Um, okay, that's good. They're looking really good. What else have we got in here? Ah! Okay, so you've seen graphic and obviously what goes with graphic? Design. Now again, you know, different fonts say different things. Um, obviously that's the, the essence of, of using type in your everyday life. So design is printed in, um, again, it's Helvetica, uh, it's, it's bold Helvetica, but somehow, you know, the notion of design, the concept of actually having a, you know, a, a drawn creative solution to something works with that. And graphic, of course, which um, I've got in my, my drawer of magic things here, um, graphic is written in, uh, graphic I've got written in, um, Lola again. So graphic is a fun font and design, see there, design, graphic design, you see. So, you know, again, it gives you real room to play with, with, with the, 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 sort of the, the typographic spirit of that. And then finally, to finish up, I've got um, my, ah, oh, yeah, okay. I started playing with some pixel fonts to see how that would work out, and they're a little bit harder to work with in some respects, in others they're not bad, and there we are, geek, a hot plastic geek, but better than that I treated myself silver geek, look at that, silver geek cufflink, Oh, you know, admittedly the silver is kind of expensive, so you, you, you sort of need to be um, a, a Silicon Valley uh, uh, mogul in receipt of quite a lot of venture capital funding to get a pair of these, but check it out. Yeah, man, geek. That, and look, look, you see the, the way I've constructed the back, it, it does actually, broken, no, it does actually float. You get that floating sensation of the, the real type floating on your wrist uh, without the extrusions and stuff, and that is really nice. The other thing I've done, if you just have a look up at the end here, is I've increased the uh, the depth of the um, the embossing on the stamp there, and, and of course, what's really nice with the polishing process uh, with silver is you get you know the shiny finish on the flat surfaces and the recesses uh, are left matte. So the unique plastique logo on the back of that has come out really nicely, and the deeper embossing has worked very well. It also, I mean, it, it works pretty well in the plastic too. You can see, if, uh, no, this this color doesn't come out very well on the camera. Um, I need something with higher contrast. Does that work? No, that's not working either. Come on, white, can you save me? No, trust me on this. In natural light, it looks much better. I should have done this in natural light, but like I said, I've been working all day. Yada yada yada. Okay, that's ten minutes 
of typographic uh, cufflink action. I'm really pleased with these. They've come out really well. They will be on sale in a graphic design museum near you very soon, provided you live in the town of Oringen in Holland. But I'm going to be seeing them up for sale online if you like 3D printing, if you like typography, if you want something a bit different, if you've just raised several million pounds of venture capital money and you want to blow it on frivolous stuff, check it out. I am a 3D printing geek. Oh yeah.